Sirens for a press conference in Tokyo usually signal a new gadget or a toy robot. But on December 7th, 2025, the signal was different. It was a warning shot. A secret startup called Integral AI stepped onto a small stage and made a claim that froze the entire industry. They announced they have built the world's first true AGI-capable model. Not a better chatbot. Not a faster predictor. But a system that learns, plans, and acts like a human being. Now we have heard this before. Every week someone claims they have cracked the code. But here's the part nobody expected. While Google and OpenAI are building massive data centers to make their models bigger, this startup went the opposite direction. They stopped trying to predict text and started trying to replicate the brain. And the man leading this charge, CEO Jad Tarifi, says this is the next chapter in the history of human civilization. So, why should you care about a four-year-old company you have never heard of? Because if their claim is true, the entire roadmap of technology just changed overnight. The current giants are stuck on a treadmill. They're spending billions to squeeze incremental gains out of outdated architecture. Integral AI claims they have skipped that treadmill entirely. They're not feeding a machine more books to read. They're teaching a machine how to learn. To understand why this is different, we have to look at the architect. Jad Terrify is an ex-Google AI veteran, but in 2021, he did something strange. Instead of starting another software company in Palo Alto, he bought a one-way ticket to Japan. He realized that Silicon Valley was obsessed with disembodied text while Japan dominated physical robotics. He bet his career that true intelligence needs a body, and that bet just paid off. But Integral AI did not just build a robot. They built a philosophy. They defined AGI with three hard, unbreakable rules. This is not a marketing vibe. This is a pass or fail test. Rule number one is autonomous skill learning. The system must learn new tasks in new environments with zero help, no data sets, no labels, no humans holding its hand. If it cannot figure it out alone, it is not intelligent. Rule number two is safe and reliable mastery. It is not enough to learn. The system cannot have a catastrophic meltdown while it is exploring. And here's the kicker. Rule number three, energy efficiency. Terrify insists that if a model needs a nuclear power plant to learn what a human child learns on a sandwich, it is a failure. They are targeting 20 watts. That is the energy consumption of the human brain. This attacks the very foundation of the current AI hype cycle. So, how does it actually work? Forget transformers. Integral's architecture mimics the human neocortex. It uses a hierarchy. It compresses raw sensory data, video, audio, touch, into abstract concepts. Then, it pushes those concepts down into actions. It runs a loop. Abstract, plan, act. It does not memorize that a cup is graspable. It understands the physics of friction, gravity, and mass. It builds a physics textbook from scratch as it plays. But talk is cheap. Let's look at the proof. In a Tokyo warehouse, reporters watched a standard industrial robot arm do something impossible. Engineers turned it on, cleared the safety cage, and walked away. There was no code for the task. The robot looked at a bin of random objects it had never seen. It hesitated. It probed. It failed once. And then, within minutes, it began sorting them perfectly. Zero human intervention. Then they pushed it further. A bipedal robot, the size of a child, was dropped into a messy apartment. It had set table without breaking anything. At the start, success rate was 3%. It was clumsy. But over 48 hours, it ran simulations in its own mind. It updated its world model. By the end, success rate hit 94%, and its power consumption dropped by nearly half. It got smarter, and it got more efficient. This brings us to the real stakes. If this scales, the implications are brutal. Think about manufacturing. Right now, setting up an assembly line takes months of coding. With this technology, you could drop a fleet of blank robots into a factory, show them a product once, and they would self-train in days. Single product factories become extinct. Supply chains become fluid. The economic advantage shifts to whoever has the smartest bodies, not the cheapest labor and it goes beyond factories. Imagine scientific research. Integral AI envisions lab robots that do not just mix chemicals. They derive their own experiments. They test hypotheses 24 seven. They turn science into a closed loop of self-improvement. We're talking about compressing decades of trial and error into weeks. This is the difference between a tool that helps you work and a partner that does the work for you. Integral's roadmap is terrifyingly ambitious. They call the final stage Genesis, a global backend where millions of robots share their learnings instantly. If one robot in Berlin learns how to open a new type of door, Every robot in Tokyo knows how to do it five seconds later. It is a collective intelligence that never sleeps, never forgets, and never stops optimizing. So the question isn't, can they do it? They just showed us they can. The question is, what happens to the rules we live by? We've spent years worrying about chatbots writing our essays. We forgot to worry about machines that can navigate our physical world better than we can. Integral AI has fired the starting gun on a race that most people didn't even know had started. This story is moving faster than anyone expected. If you want a deep dive into the specific architecture of the neocortex model they're using, let me know in the comments. I am digging into their white papers now. Make sure you subscribe because the world just changed and you need to keep up.